This would be a symbolic representation of the creation of a human being. In the beginning, we had Satchitananda. What is, is this diagram. It seemingly is composed of two opposing things, energy or experience in the red, consciousness of that experience in the white. We have Shiva consciousness, a changeless consciousness, I am, I am, I am, I am. And we have Shakti, constantly changing form, shape, color, history, constantly rolling and moving forward. Experience, change. These are united in a blissful state. And then for whatever reasons, slowly, as a human body is formed, first at the heart, these two forces of consciousness and energy, Shiva and Shakti, seem to separate and draw apart as they mold and form the body through the various chakras. They slowly, slowly seem to move further and further apart. Shiva and Shakti draw apart from one another, seemingly. Until in the end, a human form has been created and the energy that formed us, that formed the body, is now predominant down in the base and lower parts of the spine. And the consciousness, thinking, awareness, seems to be focused or gathered primarily up in the top of the head. We don't ever seem to have an experience as if I'm thinking from my tailbone. When a human being, modern human person, thinks, they think and feel in their head. And yet impulses, sexual, physical, hunger, thirst, desire, want, seem to rise up. Consciousness sort of tries to get a handle on impulses. Impulses rise of their own, sometimes to our great psychological and spiritual disturbance. Very frequently the human condition is, I have certain thoughts and aspirations that I aspire to that I think are noble and good and kind, but I have impulses that are completely contrary to my noblest ambitions. This is the average human state. We are more conscious in the upper parts of the brain and the spine, the, what are called the higher chakras, and we are less conscious but have tremendous energy down in the lower parts of the spine and the chakras. There is a tension that we experience between our thinking and our wants. Getting more specific than just the general description, we bring in the image of the chakras. These chakras are the specific energy centers in which Shiva and Shakti coordinate and create and maintain a physical body, an astral body, and a causal body. And within these chakras, the sanskaras and the karmas that brought us back into this fresh cycle of samsara are stored.